Hello crafters, this is Gareth from Jeans Creations. Welcome to video number one of a series um, in collaboration with Amy from MMA Made It, and this is Bin to Beauty. This is Upcycle Projects, and today I'm going to upcycle a CD. Now you know I've gone mad on CDs lately. I've been making 80, 80 CDs. I have a group, I'll list, link that below, which is basically artist trading compact discs. But today we are going to make a clock. So you will need, what I'm using is a CD. You will need a clock mechanism, which you can probably get if you buy an old clock from a second-hand store or a thrift store, or you could buy these on eBay really, really cheaply. Um, dominoes, which number from one to 12, and a design paper of your choice. I'm using this clock paper from the Tim Holtz collage 8x8 pack that I have and I got that from Marie Waltz on Facebook. The first thing I'm going to do is to cut a shape out, cut the mark around the CD to give me my base, put that to one side it out I didn't have any specific place I wanted the, uh, you know, any particular spot on the paper that I wanted, so I wasn't too bothered about making sure I got the right spot. Okay, here we are. So that's going to go on there. I'm then going to turn it over, and make sure it's lined up properly, and I'll use my exacto knife and cut this out. Please be careful while doing this. If, you, if you're a child, please get an adult to do this. Actually what I'll do is I'll just... And this doesn't have to be perfect as such. Try and get it as neat as you possibly can. But it doesn't have to be perfect because obviously your mechanism is going to be covering most of this. So it's not doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, just try and get it as next to neat as you can. And please take care, because these exacto knives can be very sharp. Getting very close to my store being open. It may well be open before the end of May. Thank you to all those lovely ladies who have done test buys for me. I have sent a few packages out over the past couple of weeks, so you should be getting yours soon. So we have that. Now I'm just going to neaten this up slightly with a with a nail file. So for you crafters in the UK, I got this 25 piece set for nail files in my local 99p shop for obviously 99p and they're going to use some of the because they all come in different sizes so I'm going to use some of these little ones just to smooth, just to smooth the edge here Doesn't have, like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to use the come here, Tim Holtz. There we go. I'm going to use the Walnut Distress Ink on the inside of this, just to cover those white bits of paper that show, and then round, round the edge.
I am going to adhere this using the good old trusty art glitter glue. I think my knee's cleaning. I think mine's a bit clogged. That's better. Making sure that it's all neat and tidy. Now, as you can see, I have domino pieces. Now, 12 o'clock will be the two sixes. Then I'll have one o'clock, two o'clock, just checking my battery, I don't want my battery going, but it's fine. Three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, and then we do six plus one is seven, so eight, uh, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, and eleven o'clock. So we'll start with the, if you've got a, a board, try and use your board, because it'll make things a lot easier. And then we're going to adhere using the line in the center as a guide and I'm going to line that up to the edge of the CD and again I'm just going to use my art glitter glue which I only need it on part of it and put it in place so I will do the th I'm going to do the uh, the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock because then it gives me the right spacing in between for the other numbers. Six. Six, seven, eight, nine. And you could use the Kalau glue if you wish, or Arlene's um, tacky glue, but I think this is going to work. I hope it's going to work because by the time it's finished, or by the time it's sat for a while, it be, it should be okay. You're coming along with this journey with me, so we'll see together. I got these dominoes um, for 99p on eBay, but I'm sure quite a lot of you have got dominoes at home that you don't use, or you probably find them in a thrift store or second hand store. Just try and get the distance in between right. Oops, I almost made a boo-boo there. Let's wipe off the glue from the top and put the correct side down.
Now you could ink these if you wanted to, you could alcohol ink them, you could distress them, but I like mine to be fairly newish looking. I'm going to let that sit for a while. Yeah, that seems to be working quite well. So I'm just going to let those sit for a while before we put this together. Now most of these come um, in pieces. You get this main unit here. Just to show you what how mine came. You get this main unit. You get the three, two washers and one and one bolt, one nut, sorry. And you get the three hands. So you get the this, the uh, minute hand, the second hand, and the hour hand. So I'm going to let that dry for a little while and set, and then I will come back. So I'll just see you again shortly. Okay, we're back. And the good thing about this particular one I bought, um, it has a hook on it. So I don't have to worry about putting a hook on the back of the CD for it to hang it on the wall. Now I put the black um, washer on first. That then sandwiches between the CD and the mechanism. Then you have the gold washer. Then you have the nut. Screw this on. Make sure it covers that center piece nicely. I may have to put that that gold, that black bit on this side because the hole is slightly bigger than a standard clock. I don't mind having that black piece there, it looks fine. Okay, try and line up the hanging part to the 12. then put your hour and minute hands on and lastly your second hand and there we have it a really nice looking clock out of an old CD which I was going to throw away well actually I wasn't I was going to be using them as ATCDs but for those of you that throw away CDs you know try and use them if you can so there we have it a CD to a clock Thank you for watching. I will see you next week where I will be doing, as requested by you guys, this um, hot dog jar, vase, candle holder, storage. So I'll be doing that next week. So keep an eye out. And um, I may be giving one of these away as a, as, a, as a prize. So keep your eyes posted and your ears open. And I will speak to you all soon. Take care, everybody. Take care now. Bye-bye.